Hello friends and welcome to the first day of March and my planning goal setting video for March 2021. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I plan and goal set using my bullet journal, just keep watching. Okay, so at the beginning of the year, I decided to do a goal setting series on my channel where I upload my goals at the beginning of every month, kind of a check-in to see how I did and what my goals are for the next month. So. I'm gonna do a quick, quick overview, like 30 second overview of my February goals and how they are going, how they went, and what my March goals are. So for my February goals, I pretty much kept with the same things as January. I wanted to read at least two books, walk three times a week, lose two pounds, and then get some various followers on my social media platforms. So I did pretty good this month. I did lose two pounds, I actually lost three, and I did read two books. Going into March, I wanted to really crack down because in February, I really just wasn't super focused. My February goals video didn't even go up until like the middle of February, and honestly, I just needed to refocus and recenter and kind of refigure out like what I actually wanted to do and what was important to me. So over the month, month of March, I decided to just really get particular and in order to do that, I decided to use my bullet journal. The first thing I did is choose a color scheme that was really going to inspire me so that I would really get into my bullet journal this month. So I decided to go with this kind of boho, orangey, kind of starting to get into spring um, vibes colors and I put an inspiring quote here that will kind of push me forward in March. Start where you are use what you have and do what you can so that is kind of the vibes for March and I'm really excited for it and then I went ahead and took these exact same colors and transferred them into my day planner and I basically made the color palette on the top and then listed out my other goals for the month which I will just go over super quickly and then show you how I am going to accomplish these goals in my bullet journal so I want to read two books, keep up with my piano practicing, and I would like to do a 30 day workout challenge, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And then this month I want to whiten my teeth, I got a teeth whitening set, so I'm going to be trying that out, and if you guys want to see that in a video, please let me know. Um, and then keeping up with self care, I recently found this YouTuber who is like self care queen basically, and just talks about how taking care of yourself is super important in the sense of like upkeep of your actual body like shaving and all that kind of stuff and so I kind of just want to keep up with my regimens and stay good at those and then I have my various work goals the financial goals and then I made this little thing at the bottom my starting numbers and my finishing numbers so that I can keep track of that really easily and then like I've already gone over before so if you're interested in knowing how I use my planner for my goal setting, you can go back to my very first video, I'll have it linked down below, my January video, because I take the monthly goals and then I transport them to each week. And then for each week, I make smaller goals that pertain to my monthly goals so that they're easy to break down and reach. I also did a new interesting thing with my calendar in my planner, which I'm super excited to show you guys because I have all of these cute, cute calligraphy pens, so I just used the ones that are in the color palette for March, and I made a key to keep all of the different events and categories separated. So I have YouTube, Airbnb, travel, and personal, and then I have my YouTube videos planned out, as well as our Airbnb check-in and check-out, so I can keep those really on track because I do all the cleaning and upkeep for the Airbnb. And then I have personal, so that would be for like any lunch dates, which probably will have none. Um, like if I'm going to have a nail appointment or a doctor's appointment, um, or if I'm meeting up with a friend at all, which barely ever happens. So there probably won't be much of that on there, but just in case, we have a category for it. <laughs> so that's basically what I do in my planner. And moving on to the exciting part, I've already shown you the opening page of March, but I'm going to go in and show you the other pages I made. I may add more, but this is what I wanted to start with. So on the first actual March page, I do my goals again. So I find writing them down in two places. First of all, it just reiterates that that's something I'm trying to accomplish. And it also gives me multiple 
places to look at them and feel inspired and be reminded. It's just a good thing all around. So I have my goals there. And then the next page is my social media tracker because one of my big goals is to just really hunch down and hustle on my socials this month because I am seeing growth and more outreach and I'm getting more followers and friends and I'm just so excited that uh, my engagement has been really good and I want to just take that momentum and go with it because I am so excited about it and I love meeting new people. I love being inspired and hopefully inspiring others. So I made this social media tracker. And if you guys are at all like doing YouTube or into content creation, I'd really recommend something like this. Obviously, I haven't tried it out yet, but I already have a feeling it's going to be great. But I will update you again in April when we do our overview. But I made an Instagram and TikTok social tracker for every day of the month because my goal really is to post on those platforms at least once a day. So with TikTok, that's making a TikTok or posting like a reel in TikTok every day. And then for Instagram, I at least want to be checking in every day that it is possible. If obviously there's extenuating circumstances, I'm going to be gracious on myself. But if I can get a story out there, that's great. But even better, if I can do a reel or a, a feed post, that's just engaging more with my followers. And <sighs> it's getting yourself more out there and um keeping your followers engaged because when you have long gaps in between posting people forget about you and then they're like oh yeah what's going on but if you keep popping up with more content that they find interesting and that they enjoy then you're all set but this is going to be where i can write down my ideas um and kind of plan out content which i haven't planned anything yet because i'm actually pre-filming this it's not really the end of february yet but i haven't pre-planned anything but i'll probably pre-plan my post like a week-ish in advance um sometimes it's just something happens that day and i'm able to post it and i didn't have to plan it but other days nothing is going on so i need to kind of plan what i'm going to post that day and then i'll be able to check mark next to it if i actually posted it so the the plan is to write the idea next to the date and then put a check mark or a dot if it's actually posted and then I'll be able to keep track of that. And then on the other page, I have my YouTube. So I have my upload schedule two times a week and I can plan out my videos there. And then once those are posted, I can check mark them. And then I have my little growth box. So this is just another place for me to write down my starting and finishing numbers for the month. And then I put milestones at the bottom. You know, if I reach a 100 or a 1000 goal, it's nice to write that down and remember what day that was just because hopefully one day if you have like a, a larger following it's fun to look back and be like wow five years ago on this day i had 300 subscribers that's so exciting so that's what i did with that again in the same color category because that is so fun and then the last page i made for march to help me is my 30 day workout challenge which i'm going to be filming so i hope you guys are looking forward to that i sure am i actually really am um, I'm pretty excited because I am just really ready to start hunkering down on this health goal again. Um, I've kind of been easing myself into it and this is still definitely easing because this workout challenge, the first day is literally 5 push-ups, 10 chair dips, 15 second plank, and 10 star jumps. But they progressively get harder and I just need something that's going to be like simple and easy enough for me to stick to it because consistency is my biggest issue. I will get started on something and I will rock at it and do it so well for like 20 days but I run myself into the ground doing that and then I'm not able to stay consistent for a longer period of time which is when you'll actually see positive changes that are long lasting. So my goal is to ease into it like I've said with the health journey this year. So March is going to be another step. We're going to be working out for 30 days straight. There are some rest days in there, thankfully. I have some plans for my diet as well. I'm going to be getting this new protein powder. I'm really excited to try, and I pray to God that I like it because I have a really hard time with protein powder. And I have some really yummy um, ideas for meals. And I'm also going to be trying Green Chef in the month of March, which I'm also going to be recording. So you guys will be looking out for that video as well. So I just have all of the workouts here and then I'll be able to cross them off as I do them and this is just so I don't have to go back to my Pinterest board 
or a picture on my phone and it's more satisfying to just take a big black sharpie and go x every time you do it so that is what i have in my bullet journal so far for the month of march i do want to show you what i do at the end of the month and i haven't done this yet for february but i did it for january um i didn't do as much as i want to because i kind of just didn't have a lot of time so in the future i would like to add more but i basically take my goals from that month and then take it into a review page where i kind of write down like how i did on the goals if i didn't succeed at the goal what did i do that maybe not succeed or how can i improve to get that goal next month as well as um where i exceeded and why i exceeded so well there so I'm going to be doing that for the month of March. If you're interested more in my bullet journal and seeing more of my spreads, let me know. I'm trying to mix it up so every month is not just, here's the goals from the month before, here's my new goals. I want to provide something beneficial for you in the video so you're not just hearing about my life and how I'm failing or succeeding. So if you guys have any goals or things you'd like to share with us in the comments, those comments are always welcome. Again, make sure you're subscribed. I'm really trying to hit 300 it literally means so much to me. It doesn't cost anything. I used to think it cost something when I was little. I thought you like had to pay because like usually like subscriptions you have to pay for. Not on YouTube, honey. I am providing you free content. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in Thursday's video and I will talk to you later. Bye.